first question from me. Barbara, congratulations winning the group here today after your straight sets victory over Coco Golf. Can you just um, give us your thoughts on the match and then as your thoughts on making the semifinals here? Um, I mean, first of all, I'm, I'm very happy with the, with the win. It was a big match for me today and I'm, um, I mean, it was nice to play again against Coco. Um, I mean, the match was, was difficult, was very, I feel up and down, a lot of um, moments where it could shift, uh, but I'm happy it didn't, and uh, I'm happy I'm, I'm through and I'm in the semis. Questions, please? Congratulations, Barbora. Uh, you were very clutch on those break points, and I'm just wondering, you saved 11 out of 12, I think. Can you just tell, tell us why do you think you were able to be that clutch on those important moments today? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, truly, uh, I don't even know that I was having that many breakpoints down, and and yeah, I don't know how I how I uh, save all of them, but somehow I did, and it definitely helped uh, the score. Congratulations, Barbora. Um, you've proven time and time again that against the, when you come up against the best players that your game obviously matches up well and you have the confidence to beat them. I'm curious, coming into the tournament this week, knowing that you're going to have all these matches against top players, kind of what was your mentality and, and where did kind of the confidence begin to build and what did you see working very well for you this week? Well, I was definitely super excited to be here, to, to come here, to qualify, to, to play against the, the best ones. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really know where like everything started to like come together. Uh, I think, I mean, before the tournament, I had a couple of, couple of days where we, where we hit uh, li uh, lightly and, and I like already during those, those hits, I felt quite, quite, quite good. And, and uh, I think definitely for me, it's, it's, a, it's a big thing that it's the last tournament of the season. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Congratulations. Did you know that if you won in straight sets, you would win the group? Did you know what you had to do coming into this match to do that? Well, I knew if I wanted to stay in the, uh, in the tournament that I had to win, which was obviously the, the goal. Uh, and I also knew if I can win in two, I can uh, win the group. Yeah, so I did. You already know what it is to be a WTA Finals champion in doubles. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite memory of that great run in Guadalajara? Oh, it's a good, good question. Um, mm, Definitely the, the huge relief after the very last point and, and then getting the trophy from, from, from Martina. Uh, and then uh, I like to, re I like to uh, remember my, my speech that I had in, in Guadalajara because that day was very, very big for the, for the, for the, for the Czech citizens. Barbara, you and Zheng have had quite a big summer and now you're potentially having a big end of season two. Um, can you just talk about what you're expecting from her in tomorrow's match and also what you may be expecting from the atmosphere? It seems like every match she's had, it's been quite loud in there. So what are you looking forward to about tomorrow? Um, I mean, I look forward to that match. I mean, I know it's going to be a very difficult match. I know that she's she's been playing quite well during the during the whole season and, and she's been very, very successful. I mean, for me, I had more ups and downs, I think, than than, than she did. Uh, I think it's also visible on a, on the ranking, but I mean, here we are. We are in the semis. It's a last four uh, of of this of this event, and and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking forward. Barbara, I saw you looking over at your team and smiling a few times from the court today, including mm -hmm. once when Dancing Queen started playing. Is, is that a theme song of yours, a favorite? Was that a coincidence? Can you give us the backstory? Uh, it was a nice song to dance. <laughs> no, we have, um, uh, we have some Czech songs and 
we've been we've been doing like a little I don't know if it's it's not really a dancing but something like that we 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 have we have fun all together and and uh, I felt like at that moment it was a, the perfect the perfect uh, song to to uh, remind the the dance that we had that 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 we were trying to do so so that was. Yeah, little, little something that I that I did, and I'm I'm glad it helped. <laughs> Any chance we get to see the dance no. at the end? Okay, just mm. checking. <laughs> I would I would have to work much more on it, and and I I think I would get more nervous than than playing the matches. So no no thank you. <laughs> Barbara, congrats. Thank um, you. You are still a young player, but uh, you are, I can say, a veteran if, if you look at uh, on six appearances on, on WTA finals. Uh, if you can compare all these cities where you have competed in, in this tournament, uh, which one was the, the most uh, interesting or most exciting for you? Well, I mean, it's tough to say. It's tough to compare because I feel like every WTA finals that I played had something special, and uh, all that I, I mean, all those experiences that I that I that I earned from the from the finals, uh, I'm I'm using them. I mean, I'm using them right now. Uh, I mean, I definitely like some of the finals more than maybe the others, but it's just. Privilege to be in at, at any any WT finals and to be part of the, the the last the last eight of the of the season. Barbara, on the on court interview, uh, you said to Andrew that that it was unimaginable uh, this making the semifinals. Just wondering if you could expand on that and and discuss why. That is kind of how you would describe this. Like, how surprised I guess are you? Is that what you mean by unimaginable, or what? Uh, yeah, just talk about that. Mm. I mean, it. I mean, my season was up and down. I didn't really have a good Asian swing uh, at the last tournament of the Asian swing. I had to retire. Uh, I didn't play. I had some 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 issues. Then I got here at the very last moment. So that's, I mean, all that kind of, I think, I think describes the un unimaginable. 